Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Hypnotic Lady, jumping right in. The company I will be working with is Sunbur Hair. Here I'm showing you all the goodies I got. I got some cute little mink lashes. They sent me um, a wig cap and of course a silk or satin head scarf. This is the wig. This is Sunbur Hair. This is their 613 blonde wig at 13 by 4 lace. It did come in 12 inches and 150 density. Um, we are going to custom color this. I'm just going to tone all the yellow out. I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Fiera Power Toner in the color Ice Blonde or 9P. Um, I use about three boxes. I'll only show you guys two, but I'm going to come back and you guys are going to see I use all three. Um, here I'm just showing you guys what it's supposed to do. On the left side is what the wig looks like. On the right side is the ash tone that I'm going for. So um, jumping right in, you just want to mix these two together. And then we're just going to apply this all over the wig like so. Um, you kind of want to move fast because this toner really did work pretty quickly. And in some areas, I overtoned the hair, which you guys will see later. But it all worked out. Um, I just moved around starting in the front and then worked my way to the back i would recommend doing the back first and then doing the front just in case you do uh overtone the hair you know you'd rather it be patchy somewhere in the back where you can cover that up rather than being in the front but yeah um i let this sit for like maybe 10 to 15 minutes and that's i say 10 minutes and that's after i um had already did the front part because I sped this up just for the video purpose so you guys could see. You didn't really have to have no desired way of how you're going to put this. And toner won't stain your lace uh, unless you get it on the lace. And it's like a, I don't know, a dark toner. Since this was an ash blonde and the wig was already blonde, um, I really didn't have to worry about staining the lace. So that's why you just see me going all over not really worrying about um, getting the, the toner on the lace because we don't have to worry about that. But I'm doing the whole front section. You want to comb all that through. And then I'm going to get to the back and just start putting it everywhere. And I'm just going to let that sit for about five minutes. And then we're going to rinse it out and come back with the install. When doing the back of the wig, make sure you are hitting the um, roots or the tracks close to the cap. So that way, whenever you comb through the wig, you don't see brassy yellow blonde um, and then your ends are ashed out. We didn't want that. So I'm starting at the top at the root area and then I'm just dragging it through to the ends. Um, I wasn't really worried about the ends as much as I was worried about the top. I wanted all the top to kind of look the same. Whereas if it faded into a brassy ombre, I mean a uh, yellow ombre, that was fine with me. Um, I was just trying to get as much yellow out as possible. But um, you guys see me, I'm just putting it all over. Make sure you comb and pull the hair apart just so you're getting everything and it's fully saturated. And then like I said, I let that sit for about five minutes and then I rinse that off off camera. And um, we're going to come back with the install.
okay so this is what the wig looks like I go ahead I went ahead and cut it off camera on my mannequin head into like a little asymmetrical bob but the color came out so beautiful it was so cute um, as you guys can see it did overtone a little bit but not too much and I did go ahead and sew in an elastic band and this wig does come with adjustable straps in the back I'm just going to go ahead and attach those once you get that done, you want to go ahead and put your wig on and we're going to see what it's looking like. This is going to be a 100% glueless um, install. So I just wanted to show you guys this is what the hairline's looking like before we um, do anything. I did go ahead and cut out my little ear tabs. <clears throat> Excuse me. But you guys are seeing the cut. Y'all, I'm so proud of myself because I do not cut bobs and I did a very good job with this, I felt like. Now I'm just pulling out my... Um, hair my baby hairs just so it can lay as flat as possible but so far i'm loving it this is the lace up close as you guys can see there's no makeup or anything on this i did not have to pre-pluck this or anything um i'm going to go in with my razor comb or eyebrow razor and i'm going to cut off the excess lace like so from temple to temple area and i'm just going to remove my wig to cut off the rest so i make sure i don't cut anything um that i don't need to cut and then we're going to put the wig back on once that's done, um, I'm going to go in with some foundation powder and put that on the lace like so, just to blend everything out. Because this is a transparent lace wig, it did look a little ashy on my skin, which was fine. So we're going to go in and fix that with some makeup once you get everything adjusted. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull out my baby hairs as well, just so that can lay down the part. Um, starting with my ear tabs and as you guys can see I'm just going in and pulling out some hair and then I'm gonna go in and cut off any excess lace that I need that's not laying flat and once we do that we're going to um, like I said go in with our LA Pro Girl concealer and I use the shade uh, medium beige and I try to get this to focus for you guys but it's $3.99 as you guys see from your local beauty supply store and I'm just going to pop that into the front of the lace not too much just to blend everything out and then once we get that done I'm going to pull out my baby hair and we're going to slick everything with a hot comb and then get ready to lay the baby hairs For my baby hair, I'm just doing some simple um, two little swoops by my temple area and then my sideburns. This is 100% glueless, as you guys can see, so you might see a lace lift here and there. That's fine. Don't worry about it. It's going to be laid down by the end of this, this video, okay? But just pull out your hair. Um, make sure you don't pull out too much just because you don't want to look in too dramatic. This is already given Bobby. So just make sure they match. Um, and once they match, you pull everything out and we're going to go down, I mean, go in with my Eco Style Gel and my Kaposi Mini Straightener to curl everything up. But before I do that, I am going to lay everything flat with my hot comb. This, I feel like, helps with glueless units when you're not going your hair down. I think it is mandatory for you to hot comb your edges so they are already laying flat. Don't press down on your lace, you know, don't burn yourself. But I think it is a top priority main like you have to do hot comb your edges if you are going to be doing a glueless unit just because they lay flat like look how sleek that is and it's not glued down like i'm gonna do this part right here but tell me that don't look like i just melted that like we just didn't take the melt band off and that's the look that you want to have so once you do that um i'm going to take my hot comb and just go in and lay anything else that i feel like is a little lumpy or bumpy down i want it flat as possible and then i'm going to go in with my Kaposi straightener that i got off of amazon prime and we're going to cut the baby hairs at an angle going diagonal and then curl those up or pre-curl them and then we'll lay those down with a little bit of eco style I'm 
going to take just a little bit of eco style as you guys can see i'm just using the excess gel that was on my the top of my gel top and i'm just going to swoop like so take your time because this is a glueless unit you can lift your lace up if you are brushing too hard and you don't want to do that like I, how i just did so um take your time and mold the baby hair into the hairline you want it to look like it's connecting i'm kind of really over the baby hairs that are separated from the rest of the hair because it doesn't look natural um not as natural as it could it does look natural but not as natural as it could so as you guys see i'm just cutting everything at an angle i'm going to pre-curl and then i'm just going to swoop but my actual side not my sideburns my baby hair that's going into my wig you want to brush or comb that into the hair so it looks like it's connecting like so and then just repeat the process on the other side and then we're going to come back with my straightener just to press the hair out one more time and that will be the completed look Okay, so this is what the hairline's looking like once everything is laid down. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. The edges look nice. And I'm just going in and sleeking little touch-ups back. You know, just doing little touch-ups, sleeking stuff back. You guys see that little piece of lace right there on the side? I am going to put a little bit of Eco Style right there on top just for it to lay down. Um, and that was literally the only gel I put right there. But other than that, um, I'm going to go in with this Maybelline stay um i think that was stay up foundation powder and i'm just running through that running that through my part just to define it a little bit better um since this is a 613 ice blonde wig i wanted everything to look as good as it could now i'm just going over my bob with my um babyless titanium straightener like so um you can go in and do it individually like little pieces like how i'm doing i found that that laid it as flat as possible just using my rat tail comb and my straightener like so and once that's done that will be the completed look i am going to give you guys a 360 of my wig y'all i was so proud of myself with this cut i do not know how to cut cut bobs to save my life okay and it was given what it was supposed to give, baby. You hear me? So this is the bag. This is what it looks like. I think it was cute, 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 cute. Again, this is Sunbird Hair. This is their 613 Bob. I did custom color it or custom tone it to a ice blonde color or nine. I think that's a 9P. But if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you guys think. I think I ate this look up. I think this bob looks super cute on me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. I think I just said that. But, but I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.